Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode number 8 of my SPSS tutorials. Uh, I do recommend watching the previous episodes because they explain a lot on SPSS, but you aren't obligated to do so because uh, all the, vi the videos are individual and discuss separate topics. And uh, today will be uh, quite a short topic, which is the 95% confidence interval. Uh, and I'll show you how you can, uh, how you can uh, get to them on SPSS and how you should interpret them. Uh, so you go to Analyze. Uh, compare means one sample t-test what the actual one sample t-test is I will discuss in a later video um, and then you select the variable which you want to see the confidence interval of uh, for this example uh, attitude which we created in the last episode then you press paste and then you go to your syntax screen you select the code of the uh, one, uh, one sample t-test and then you press run and then in your output screen, you'll get the t-test. And you'll see that the mean, so the average, is 3.14. And if you then look at the table below, the one sample t-test, you'll see that the 95% confidence interval of the difference is 3. Point, uh, that the lowest amount is 3.10 and the upper amount is uh, 3.17. So 3.10 and 3.17. And uh, exactly in the middle of those, is the is the mean difference because the uh, is the mean because the conf the 95% confidence interval uh, is the mean uh, plus two times this uh, plus two times the standard error and minus two times the standard error and what the uh, confidence interval shows is that you are can be 95% sure that the true mean is somewhere in between those two numbers because you're doing a, a survey and you're uh, which is only one uh, which is only one research uh, and you can't actually be 100% sure that the, that the mean you get to is the actual mean because you, if you uh, would deploy a different research then you might get a slightly different answer but by calculating the 95% uh, confidence interval so by doing your mean uh, and plus uh, 2 and minus 2 times the standard error of the mean which you can see over here um, then you can be sure that the uh, uh, that the actual mean is somewhere in between those two numbers. Okay, so that was my uh, yeah, very brief description of the 95% confidence interval of the mean. Uh, I hope it was useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below in the comment section. Uh, and see you guys for the next episode.